Hello super user, so some good news. I found a temporary computer I can use until my new one comes in a couple days. So we're back off to the races with tutorials. And so today we're gonna go over how to create diagonal text in Finale. As you can see here, this text is actually diagonal on a slant. And you'll often find this in lead sheets like this one right here. It's not entirely intuitive how you're actually gonna accomplish this because if you use the text tool to write in any normal text, there's no options up here to actually rotate it whatsoever. So we're actually gonna use a slight workaround and we're gonna use a smart shape because as you may know, it's in smart shapes, you can actually uh, put them on a diagonal like that. They don't have to be strictly horizontal or strictly vertical. And you can actually put some text on the diagonal line right here and hide the line. That way you effectively have diagonal text. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's come up here to our smart shape tool go down here to the star in the circle, and we're gonna hit option click to get you the smart line selection tool. Let's go ahead and just create a new line. Hit line style, any type, but importantly, the thickness should be zero. That way it's completely hidden, and you wanna make sure that this horizontal is unchecked. Line adjustment, this can all be zeros, uh, no start, no end, and let's have a center line full. So this is going to be the text that's displayed in the center. And we can have this display with anything we want. Like we can say diagonal text, like that. And that's all we have to do to create the smart shape. So let's hit OK, and then OK. And now as you can see, we have this smart shape for diagonal text. So all we have to do is pick a staff, any staff, and just click and then drag along the diagonal to get the text. And that's really cool. That means you can move it around like that however you want. You can place it pretty much anywhere. You can even put it at any angle you want by just highlighting it with the Smart Shape tool and then moving it to be a different angle, like that. And sometimes if you make the line too short, the text won't show up. That's just because the text is longer than the line. But all you have to do is just make the line longer than the text and you can do pretty much anything you want with it. And that's exactly how I created this Smart Line over here for the tempo marking on this lead sheet. And if you want to get this lead sheet template, uh, I'm basically giving it away for free for anyone who gets the course I just created on using Keyboard Meister and Finale. Uh, if you get it before May 15th, I will happily give you this as well as my document styles and another one that has more of a concert format. And this course does also include all future courses I'm planning on making, all about really speeding up your Finale workflow. Link is in the description if you want to find out more. So that's it for today. That's how you create diagonal lines in Finale. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.